Okay guys, in this video, let us have a look at some of the features ES 2015 offers when we are working with objects. Now consider two variables, let first name is equal to, let's say Chandler, and let last name is equal to Bing. Now, let's say we want to create a new person object with these two values. So what we would normally do is let person is going to be an object and we want the values that we have just assigned. So we're going to create a property first name and this is going to be first name. And then we are going to have a property last name and this is going to be assigned with the value last name. So we can log out the values now, console.log, person.firstName, and then log person.lastName. So let's save this and go to our browser. And we have Chandler and Bing. So that's what we would usually do. When we want to assign values to the properties, we would assign it with colon and then logged out. Now this right here, the curly braces with the properties, is called as an object literal. And ES2015 provides shorthand notations when we have object literals. Now the first one is when the property name is the same as the variable name, then we can reduce this to just first name and this to just last name. So now what ES2015 does is, okay, you've just given me first name and last name. So I'm going to assume that the person object is going to have a property first name and last name, and I'm going to assign these values to those properties. So let's save this and let's see if our code still works and Chandler and Bing. If I change this to Bing's, let's save this, Chandler Bing's. So it's, pr it's working pretty good. Also, we can do the same when we are returning from a function. So let me comment this out and create a new function. So function, this is going to say create a person. So function create person is going to accept first name, last name, and it is going to provide us with full name. first name plus last name and then we can return all the three so return first name last name and also the full name so let's save this and let's create a new object with this function so let p is equal to create person. Let's create it with Ross and Geller. Now we can log to the console p dot first name. Log to the console p dot last name, and log to the console even p dot full name. Let's save this. And there you go, Ross is the first name, Geller is the second name or last name, and then Ross Geller is the full name. So even when working with functions, we can return first name, last name, and full name without using the colon and assignment. So first name, colon, first name, last name, colon, last name, full name, colon, full name. That is not needed anymore. We have the shorthand notation. And another shorthand notation is when we are adding a method to our object. So over here in our create person, let's pass another parameter age and let's break this down. It's going to return first name, last name, and also full name. Now let's create another property. This is going to be is senior. So this is going to determine or this function is going to determine if the person is a senior citizen or not. And let's say if he is greater than the age of 60, 
he or she is a senior citizen, and if not, they are not a senior citizen. So generally, this is the syntax we would use to declare a function property. So e senior, and then we would use a colon, and then the keyword function, and then parentheses with curly braces, and we would do something like return age greater than 60. So if age is greater than 60, e senior is going to be true. If not, it's going to be false. So over here, let's pass an age. Let's go with 32. And let's also log the age or the e senior property. So p dot e senior. And let's give this, let's save this. So we have Ross Geller. Ross Geller, is he a senior citizen? No, false, because his age is 32. Now, the shorthand notation here in ES215 is when we have a function to a property, then we can ignore this function keyword and the colon. So e senior and then parentheses, and then we have the function body. So let's save this and see if it still works. Refresh, it is still false. Let me change the age from 32 to 62. Let's save this, and there you go, true. So those are some of the shorthand notations we have with object literals. The first one is with a regular object when you assign, when you have to create properties with the same name as that of the variable you're assigning it to, then you can just have first name and last name. Also, when you're returning from a function, you don't need to do that again. First name, last name, full name works pretty good. You don't have to say first name, colon, first name, and so on. And also, we have this new shorthand notation when having a function inside this object literal, and we can omit the colon and the function keyword and just have parentheses. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.